Hi, I'm Corey the Treasure Hunter, and this is my final episode of my rookie season for 2020. Hey! You know Oakland's my turf, so I gotta check in with a few legends before I'm able to do anything around here and get their blessing. Well, we're out early today. I'm gonna go to this tot lot that I started, uh, that I went to at my first, uh, one of my first few videos where I killed it. Because today is the last day of my rookie season. And I'm trying to get as much cloud as I can to add to that total. Stay tuned. Here's the lake in the morning, best time to be here. Everyone's still asleep that lives at the lake. And only the people that are not lazy are out doing stuff. The people that make Oakland function. <laughs> and the best time to go to a tot lot when the little guys are still asleep because uh, they can be a pain in the butt when there's uh, you know, 30 or 40 of them. One or two, not too big of a deal, but when they, when they turn into an army of little kids trying to just figure out what you're doing and get in the way of your coil and stuff, that can be annoying. But here's the lake, guys. They just redid all this stuff, so I'm not gonna hunt in there for probably a couple of years. Would have been great to be in there when they tore it all up, though. But uh, I wasn't around the lake, and I was busy getting a job, I think. So <laughs> now I live at the lake, and I have a job, and so we're gonna hunt all kinds of stuff. This uh, little. Uh, Scooter treks about uh, four or five miles to get to this place in the morning. I don't know if you guys recognize this from a video or so ago. This building right here is where I uh, was hunting. Found a little silver. This little veterans park area. by the Kaiser building now and Mosswood Park. Hunted there a couple times, found some cool stuff. The coolest thing I ever found there was probably a pigeon, uh, pigeon ID anklet without the leg. I think on my way back, I'm gonna hunt in this area right here. That's where I found a bunch of stuff, some weenies and, and a little pigeon thing. So we're gonna hit these targets. I'm a scooter and fool, so uh, I've been doing this a long time. I got a thousand miles on this, just this one. <laughs> Anyways, almost there. So I'm on Telegraph right now. Uh, we're going to a park called Frog Park. kind of a park that lines the underneath of the freeway sort of <laughs> but there's a nice little tot lot in there that uh, I think uh, I'm gonna do really well at today I hope to and uh, get some foreign coins maybe some tokens some trinkets some uh, you know jewelry and maybe a little surprise something I've never even thought about before which is a really cool thing about metal teching <laughs> anyways uh, glad you guys are here and this could be a really long video because I'm going to try to tie it into uh, the end of my rookie season. A little lost right now. This is a cool little ride. Come around here. I think. So this is the tot lot area. <clears throat> I've only really hunted in this tot lot area, which was uh, an, almost an all-day hunt. But uh, I'm expecting the cruise through it right now. No kids, and I'm going to get up in there and over here. Over there, over there. Yeah, let's do this. Excited.
I'm gonna hide my scooter in the back here and lock it to something. I'll get to business. First target is a charm. Fashion. <clears throat> Looks like it's copper. Fashion time. Interesting. First high signal. I haven't even <clears throat> left right here and I've dug up like eight or nine targets. First high signal, almost likely. Most likely going to be a quarter. Yep, there it is right there. I think it's going to be a really good uh, change day. Can't wait to see what my total for the end of the day is going to be. So stay tuned. Got our first like low tone here. Haven't found any trash yet. Maybe they have some wire here or something. I don't know. Got part of the carpet here. Got squirrels fighting on a tree right next to me. <laughs> I don't know if they're fighting or squirreling around. Yeah, so it's a nickel. Probably can't see him from there because I just reviewed some footage of a bird that helped me find a silver coin and couldn't see any of it. So <laughs> good luck on that one. Looks like we got some uh, blingage here. Ooh, actually this could be something good. It's got a hallmark in the back, it says cowed. And this looks like a lightning bolt or something. Yeah, we'll clean that up, see what it looks like. It's probably blingage, but... Unless it's gold, it's it's bling. <laughs> cool little find, though. Reminds me of Kiss. Looks like we scored another locket of some sort or something. Not sure what this one's going to be. Dasha dog. Maybe someone's pet. Looks like it's copper. Yeah, I'll get a little clean up of that. Dasha dog. I'm still just in the entryway here. I've only covered this little area here and already found, I think, three pendants <laughs> and countless amounts of change. So, go hit the tot lot. Just do yourself a favor. You gotta hang out with some squirrels and, and it's usually cold. So, but other than that, get it to yourself. I want to show you my treasure bag, the bag I've been collecting this entire year of clad. It weighs a lot and I can't wait to add it up and see how much I got, but we're going to save that for a giveaway. So this is the uh, clad I dug up for the year. It's in this huge bag. It weighs uh, over 60 pounds weighs 62.6 pounds so uh, i'll have a short coming up where uh you can guess how many coins they're in there and what the total amount is for uh to win something really cool but uh yeah this is uh that's uh that's everything for one year one year my rookie season of youtube yeah yeah this is a really interesting signal it's very faint like foil or something. <laughs> it's just a nickel. It was a double nickel signal separated by six inches. That's why that sounds so weird. This is a choppy signal. Wow, it's going crazy over that thing. Just a penny. Under this bench, we found our first key for the day. Do not duplicate. House key, important key, my key. Everyone loves rings. I was able to find quite a few of those this, uh, this rookie season, but uh, why don't you guys take a look? So for my... Uh, 
Glow Rookie Season at YouTube. Got I dug up over 50 rings. These are all silver. These in here are gold-ish. Some are gold, mostly gold-plated. There's some good ones in there. These are all my blings. Some uh, good notable ones in there. I'll take a, I'll give you a little couple close-ups of those. But uh, yeah, that's what I got. Proud to have them. First piece of trash. Thought it was a nickel. Now out of the tot lot, and I'm gonna search these trees right here in this little area. See what I find. I think I did it well in the tot lot. Nothing uh, special, but uh, maybe something. Other than that, a bunch of change for the total. So let's keep going. Got our first uh, shell. Looks like a 22 round. I think it's got a little C right there. Nothing special. Got the tiniest, tiniest little dog tag right here. Senti Sandy? I don't know what that says. Those are cool little ones, tiny. It's local. Oh, I see, it's Geneva, and the nickname's Jenny. Cool. Here's pretty much all the dog tags I found for the year. I don't know how many there are, but you know, over 10 and they're always fun to find. So, and you get some cool names out there. I remember Freckles was, uh, was a hard one for me. <laughs> this was interesting. It was just a penny signal, but it had like a double noise to it. So I think it ring, but. <laughs> No, nope, just a couple pennies. I think I might have just dug up a dollar coin. Could be foreign or... Looks like we got a dollar coin. Don't know who it is. But it's one dollar. Oh yeah. Another thing I started to do was donate my pool taps. So I started collecting those and I donate them to... Uh, you know, charities. I picked the Ronald McDonald House because, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff I'm giving away is uh, toys. A lot of the cars that I find and little figurines and things like that. Stickers from people's channels. Um, you know, anything that would make someone happy. So. Just so you know, they collect pull tabs. So that's why I'm giving them to them. But I'm also going to send them my, uh, my cars that I dug up. You know, a lot of those and uh, anything else that uh, anyone else wants to contribute. So it's a good thing and you should do it. So I've been saving all my pull tabs since uh, November to give away, to donate. Got about uh, almost a half pound there. <laughs> now keep in mind, I gave uh, quite a few of these away, but this is what I got for a year. I didn't count them up, but there's some really nice ones in there. I like uh, these two figurines in particular and my little Tootsie toy, and I got a couple other scragglers. But uh, those are all worth money. I'm gonna give them away, most of them, to the Ronald McDonald House. Uh, if you would like to uh, contribute, I'll make a little short, like I've been saying, and uh, give you all the information so you can go ahead and send them to me and I'll make sure that they get to those little guys. About to leave uh, Frog Park, grab my scooter and get skedaddle in and then uh, gonna try uh, going towards the lake and see what I find in between here and there. Let's dig this up real quick. Sounds solid. Solid low tone. Probably nickel. I'm just laying the nickels today. Not much trash at all. Another nickel. Look what I just came across. This thing's been here for a while. Ooh. Yeah, it's like 10 to 12 feet across. So I'm just gonna hit this area real quick and keep going. But I wanted you guys to see it's little gems like this. I doubt I'll find something, but you never know. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Well, I haven't found much so far. 
stump was awesome, but uh, it's mostly quarters and coin spills. This is the highest tone I've come across so far today. So I thought I'd film it. I'm hoping it's something good. Like a... Okay. That's a good sign that it's not a sprinkler. So it's just a quarter. Oakland has uh, been around for a long time. People have been metal detecting it forever, and uh, it's really hard to find some old coins here. But I was able to pull up uh, a few for the year, you know, so these are the ones I got. These were uh, my oldest coins that I found. Couple silvers in there. Hit the 1800 Club a couple times. Got the 1800 Barber. 1800 Shield nickel right there. It's kind of hard to see. Got my, uh, took a seat right there with a the seated quarter. Got a little Buffalo nickel. Got a, a Chinese coin there. And my first episode, I got that 1945 quarter. Sorry, is it 42? 42. Awesome. Got some kind of a relic here. Kind of hit it a couple times. Oh. Ooh. It's a figurine. Looks like it might be something from Fraggle Rock or something. Or, uh, Labyrinth. Oh, this guy's pretty cool. I'll have to check that out. He's got an interesting face and a head thing. The feather. Wow, this is probably pretty old. Heck of a find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like I got me a Wonder Woman keychain. Pretty sure that's her. So somewhere here. Made in China. <laughs> DC Comics. Cool thing about uh, having a YouTube channel and metal detecting is you meet other uh, YouTubers and metal detectorists and I was able to, to go out and detect with a couple of them and here's who they are. Audio Jungle. I just uh, I just hit a mega bum penny spill. I mean, I've picked up like 40 coins already. So I might go for the record. Might go for the 109. That's a dime. But uh, I pulled at least 30 pennies out of this hole, so let's see if we can beat your 109. Clark's Cove detecting. Man, I must have pulled out over 40 coins just in this little area right here. And there's still some stuff left. Clark's Cove, you could be in trouble. I think I'm gonna go for it. I don't know how many I have, but it's gonna be close. Oh, and I won't forget to count this time, Robert. <laughs> well, I can't guarantee that, but. one way to grab the target out of the hole <laughs> made it easy for me this place is covered with dookie so I'm not hunting here it's like way too much way too much for the treasure hunter but I got this nice cool lock ace well in addition to a penny spill I just got an earring it's nothing special probably was silver plated at one point 
but uh, I'm hunting this little area right here and then I'm out onto the lake still. Looks like we might have our first foreign coin find or token. Looks like uh, got something really cool right here. Never seen anything like it. It's definitely Asian. Feels uh, heavy like a quarter. Got a close up of that. That is super cool. Besides digging up, uh, you know, bum chains, I'm also able to find tokens and foreign coins. And, you know, I got a bunch of those and here they are. Here's a close up of all the tokens I dug in that uh, my rookie season right there. There's quite a few. The oldest one's from the 60s, and I have maybe one from another country, Canada, a little subway token. I have a Super Bowl token in there from 1994. Unfortunately, it was the Cowboys that won, so, eh. Here's all my foreign coins that I got for the year. Well, most of them, there's a couple of scragglers out there that uh, I can't track down. I haven't logged in yet, but I think there's over uh, five or six different countries here. <laughs> we got uh, China, Australia, South Africa, of course, Mexico. Looks like we have, might have a utensil here. Could be silver too. I uh, could get lucky. It's definitely a fork. I think this has something to do with the coin that was here. I think it says Korea, same with steel. Korean Rogers stainless. It's got a nice little pattern. Yay! Sitting on the ground right here. Looks like a hoop. Or a bangle, actually. This could be brass. Could be gold, too. It's definitely got a... Uh, it's definitely coming up a low thing, so it could be something special. It definitely could be gold. I don't know. <laughs> it's a good find either way. I don't find many of these. This is a really nice one. Looks like I'm hitting everything today. Just need to... A uh, token and some silver and some gold. Got a little Hot Wheels. This was a Malaysian one, 2014, so it's in pretty good shape. Yeah, I think this might be a really cool find. It's uh, a mangled uh, fancy fork. Let's see what that rings up as. Rings up as lead. <laughs> so I doubt it's gold. But uh, it just looks cool. Look at that. It's like a witch's fork. Uh, sharp too. Look at that thing. It looks like there's a little hallmark in there. So uh, it was probably silver plated at best. That thing is rad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. right here in this homeless encampment just found something awesome look at this it's a religious medallion not sure what it's made of could be silver doesn't really look like it but that's pretty tight oh yeah This might be the third foreign coin I found. I just found a peso, old one. This is 50 pesos, 1987. So I got some pesos on the board. Got a really old one, chunky. I love the old pesos, they're so thick. Just gonna keep going.
This is definitely the find of the day. It's a gold plated dollar coin. I dug this up and I'm like, what is this? It's just the outline of a quarter, which is hard to see. I'll have to get a picture of it, but look at that. That is, I think that might actually be real gold, gold plated. <laughs> that is beautiful. Wow. And all I was trying to do is beat the Clark's Cove detecting penny record. <laughs> All right, so that was a really good hunt for the last hunt of my YouTube rookie season. I got a lot of good stuff. This was also two bags. I could, it was so heavy I had to, I had to like actually get it out of my pockets and put it in a bag. Just want, I'll, I'll clean this up, but this is just kind of what I found on my last day. A lot of stuff. See if I beat that uh, Clark's Cove detecting uh, penny record of 109 and maybe uh, set a uh, nickel record. We shall see. All right, so we got a cleaning update. Currently at 75 pennies and starting to stack all this. Got to go through that, so it's going to be close. It's going to come down to the wire. And then, of course, we have our Hall of Fame table right here, which we'll get to in a second. So I destroyed that 109. We got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, a dollar, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, two dollars, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. 245 is, is the new goal. And then uh, it was 33 nickels. <laughs> 16.75 in quarters and I got eight uh, 86 dimes which is eight dollars and sixty cents for a total of a lot of coins I uh Calculated all these goals, so I will have something to beat for this next season, my sophomore season. I don't want any sophomore blues, so I'm going to be out there hunting every day. <laughs> I'm going to be out there hunting as much as I can and uh, trying to show you guys exactly what I find here in Oakland and the uh, other areas around here. Um, Oakland's becoming a little bit more rough as far as the homeless people, so they're a little difficult to deal with, uh, especially if they have mental health issues or they're criminals or they're just there to make someone have a bad day. So this is daily life over here. These are my uh, big silver finds for the year. Each one of these is over an ounce. We got a uh, San Francisco police badge. Sterling silver. We have a Tiffany bracelet. Then we have some uh, really cool ornate, like a sugar spoon. And that fork is like two ounces of silver right there. So one of my big silver finds. That thing's gold right there, 120th gold. And this thing's just really cool. That thing's just cool. I had some giveaways for my rookie season and uh, there was quite a few people that won and they're in the eternal winner's circle of Corey the Treasure Hunter YouTube channel. Here they are. Congratulations to you guys. You guys deserved it. Some of those were skillful wins. Some of them were just, you know, lottery picks, whatever, but uh, Going forward, you want to get my loot, you got to have some skill. What can I say? My shoes, 
Sorry, Frank. Uh... I have to ask myself, is it worth trekking through Canadian goose poop, steaming piles of dog crap with a side of squirrel vomit while being in a violent, crime-ridden homeless encampment? Hell yeah! Just wanted to conclude this episode and say I had a lot of fun making it. It's uh, my anniversary episode, so it means a lot to me. I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to go big on every anniversary episode I can. Uh, I'm so glad that you guys are here, and I will see you on the next one. I also find some unique items. I don't know what they are. There was one in particular I found on this hunt that is amazing. It's probably one of my favorite things that I found this year, and uh, if you guys know what it is, let me know. I, I have no clue. No one knows, so it's, it's a one of a kind. These were some other uh, cool finds. Little, little key right here. That's a nice one. And then this guy is awesome. I don't know what it is. He's very intricate. I think he was holding something in his hands. I'm not exactly sure it's gone. Could be a game piece. Not sure. I'm not sure what it's made of either. It's heavy. Could be lead. Yeah. Before we leave, how about an Oakland montage? 